presentation uh, by Miran Mohan. I'm very happy that you could join us this year. Uh, coming to Pristina, uh, uh, I have to mention that Miran was uh, uh, with us since the beginning when we started the uh, summer school of school. This year, he proposed a presentation which will be focused on teaching contemporary visual practices and theories. So briefly, uh, Miran is an artist, graphic designer, and set designer based currently in Modena. He's a member of the Irving Artist Group and co-founder of the Noise Dimension Kunst and Ska Art Collective. Uh, he's also a, a co-founder of graphic design studio New Collectivism uh, and the Sipio Nashita Sisters Theatre. He's also a co-founder and member of architectural movement Maya Farrell and a member of European Cultural Parliament since 2001. From 2008, he's also an associate professor, head of the fine art department and vice dean at AVA, Academy of Visual Arts in Ljubljana. Tonight's presentation uh, starts with a uh, 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 focus uh, uh, like the uh, uh, Category of contemporary visual art practices and theories, how should they be introduced in education in the field of visual arts? This term is broad enough to cover a wide variety of artistic practices and phenomena, particularly since contemporary art production is often based on unexpected uh, uh, derivations that the system of traditional criteria cannot foresee. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just reading the first sentence of, his, uh, of the abstract of tonight's presentation. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be in Pristina. Zolo has been coming here for a long time already. And uh, 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 my maybe topic is not that uh, so maybe interesting, uh, so sexy, even in all senses, you know, uh, deliberately use this word. Uh, but I think I would like to reflect uh, education, uh, art education, uh, how it could be uh, perceived in maybe our territories and, and wider. I would like to ask uh, how many of you here in the in the hall are from Kosovo? Just maybe raise a hand if it is not. Okay. And some people are coming from uh, ex Yugoslavia, Eastern Europe, uh, uh, others also here, maybe. Yeah. Why I'm asking it? Yeah, yeah. Why I'm asking it? Because you know uh, the, uh, uh, the theory is never universal. It's always applied to specific conditions and space and so on, and also education. You know, so. Uh, uh, I, for me, it was very good to hear also presentation of assistant of American uh, Museum in Berlin, Goran, uh, uh, technical assistant, because this was already education. D he told a story which, you, uh, which I didn't hear in school, in academy, when I was studying and so on, but he put it in a way that, uh, uh, that you can understand where modern art is coming from. They are very simple things you never heard. So. Uh, my presentation will be uh, about my experience with, uh, 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 with being a teacher, professor, uh, establishing schools, uh, and so on. So some things I will read, and I will also, uh, during my presentation, uh, I will show some images, works of students from Ljubljana, my students, uh, just for, I would say, just for a kind of feeling. So these works are uh, different works from different years and different medias and so on. I think, but you can grab a kind of a spirit of the schools for this, you know. So I think maybe this will kind of uh, save uh, my dull, you know, presentation. Maybe a little bit, you know, so. Uh, so I'll just uh, try to, uh, okay, I think we should do this. So. Uh, I will talk about personal experience with uh, working in a field of contemporary art education and also why I decide uh, to be active in this field. This is not going to be theoretical nor systematic presentation. Maybe it can serve as a starting point for a debate what kind of education is needed today for artists and how to teach it and what forms educational institutions we need. I'm aware that students of uh, summer school are coming from countries with the different levels of art school quality, so my intention is not to generalize. That's where I ask you where you're from. Maybe some of my presentation will be useful, some not, but we can discuss at the end. Uh, 
So uh, even in, uh, when we talk about institutional critique, it's something else on the West. When institutions are fully developed, and you can talk, you can resist, you can criticize, we have to build institutions. We need good institutions. Institutions are extremely important, and uh, it's, we should not be against institutions. Of course, we should criticize institutions, we don't need, but we have to create and change if we not. If we cannot change it, uh, we have to build a new one. Do, do a new one, it's possible. Uh, so as uh, Albert said, I'm a member of the union group, and already as a collective working is a kind of school, you know, where we were teaching each other, here we exist for 38 years. Uh, this is because we had a common field, and every success of one member was also beneficial for all the group. Now, uh, both the story, uh, films, uh, uh, and theatre set designer Petr Sekulis from Ljubljana, who studied visual art and film and theatre design in Limbledon School of Art in London, came to me with an idea in 2007 to join the team and co-create a non-profit school for visual arts in Ljubljana. Uh, Pepe started this uh, new school because he was unhappy with the uh, uh, education system for art in Slovenia. Uh, since I shared his opinion, because I also finished the Academy of Fine Arts in Ljubljana, uh, I was the first to join the team helping to shape the school organization and program. Our Academy for Visual Arts is already running since 2008 uh, with no state money. We didn't get one euro in this uh, almost uh, 14 years. Uh, uh, I'm running the department there for uh, art, uh, for fine arts, and work as a uh, uh, associate professor and, and vice dean. So I'm uh, also responsible for uh, uh, also a party also for uh, finding the teachers uh, and so on. Uh, at the beginning, we only started with BA program, but now we do have MA program too. Uh, now, uh, uh, every uh, in every country, there is a certain uh, uh, there is there are some elements of the art system developed or not underdeveloped, and so on. So, I can say a, a few things here about it. So, I write it down because I wanted to be precise. Because if I would talk about this without Reading, I would, it would take too long. I could not compress my thoughts so much, since I'm a painter, because I'm a painter. In Slovenia, as in other parts in Eastern Europe, the art system is for the most part underdeveloped. Basic elements of the system, such as private galleries with international profile, collectors and contemporary art, archives, organized theoretical production, regular museum purchases, and the relevant education are lacking. Hence the value now in uh, 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 yeah, symbolic as well as financial of artwork in Slovenia is low. Uh, is low. As a result, of, uh, the country is excluded from international art system, except for the handful of artists and institutions who participate uh, and thanks largely to their personal international connections. The art system in Slovenia is almost useless. Uh, again, with some bright institutional uh, Ex exceptions. For instance, uh, Kosovo has a better, uh, uh, like, a commercial or private gallery than Slovenia. Slovenia has none. Uh, for instance, uh, who would be a player or something uh, more important? We, uh, we can also say uh, that we have an art system developed in the wrong direction. Uh, of course, you know, this could be the truth for many countries, uh, uh, especially in ex-Yugoslavia, Eastern Europe, you know. Uh, of course, it's also debatable what is for some of the art system and so on, but uh, for Irvin, for our group, uh, economy was always very important. I mean, without an economy, I mean, I'm not talking about capitalism, but I'm talking about the economy which is much older than capitalism. It's the way how you use your energy. So, uh, and uh, I think uh, talking about finances, it's a kind of taboo topic in Slovenia and political left and political right about art. Everybody wants to idealize this you know, from different perspectives. For us, economy was a good thing, you know, so uh, when we started, uh, we discussed about it. Uh, education is an important part of the art system. Uh, 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 and, of course, uh, education, contemporary art practice and theory is systematically underdeveloped. Programs and teaching methods do not place students and their needs at the center of the process. It seems as if public art schools were designed for securing the economic survival of their teaching staff rather than educating students. 
lecturers at Slovenian art schools and in ex Yugoslav states are mostly local. I don't know how uh, is uh, I know how is uh, is Slovenia. I know how is in Kosovo, but we can discuss it. Maybe some of them have studied abroad, but most of them are not really connected to the international scene. Those who are are more, uh, are more uh, exception rather than the rule. The bad news for the students, since the school should really act as a gateway to the international environment during the course of their studies. One can be a great artist, but a mediocre or poor teacher. I don't think that every lecturer should be active art practitioner, but we should nevertheless try to ensure that a certain number of lecturers, artists, or theoreticians are actively involved in the art system, uh, 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 local and very international. If the students are good, a lecturer with the right professional ties will recommend them to curators, galleries, theoreticians, museum directors, and, and, and so forth. So forth. A school that is linked to the art system should, uh, through its personnel, is a good platform from which young artists can launch their careers. During their studies, students should become acquainted with the different views and artistic methods and positions. That's not possible if the class is taught and led by only one professor for several years. To this end, the school should become an arena for the flow of different ideas and views. But that's hard to achieve with the professor, uh, professor class in German. I think it's professor class. English would be professor of the class, probably. That's close. Uh, okay. Uh, this produced a high risk, uh, probability of high risk of cloning, of students starting to do similar works as their professors and mentors or tutors. It is important that students' works are discussed and assessed by several lecturers. Uh, whose comments up, uh, upon their works from different aspects as well as in, in position to each other opinions. In the end, the student may decide for himself what he's going to do with his work. That's one of the reasons why we introduced uh, uh, guest lectures by domestic and foreign artists and art professionals. Students at other don't graduate under a particular uh, professor or teacher, but under our orchestra. No, in in quotation marks. I think it's vital that students, uh, it's vital that students are not necessarily limited in, in their work to particular art media and techniques, but they can choose in the learning process itself the ones that it suits them best. If they wish, uh, they can also work with one media only. It's completely up to them. It, it is up to school to enable this for them and to attract lecturers the suit there is. Just as important is that the school staffing do not be sealed for once and for all. I mean, we have to move, go around, you know. We don't do this enough, including myself. Uh, during their study, students must also be taught how to go on education, to go on educating themselves, even after completing formal studies. To this end, they must learn how to use the necessary tools. Education at traditional schools, as I said, uh, uh, it's too much focus, I mean, in ex Yugoslavia, Slovenia, too much focus on, uh, on this uh, uh, craft skills uh, and technical and mastery and traditional media. Here in between, I can tell you, I know situation in Russia and China. In Russia and China, artists who are anything contemporary art, as a rule, they're not coming from academies. They're coming from architecture, for polytechnica, for comparative uh, literature and so on. Because if you study a wrong academy, a wrong school, you need this schooling. You need four, four or other years to forget what they told you. you know. This is a problem, you know. Uh, I mean, this, of course, is not if you play a violin in, in classical orchestra, you must do that. You know. It's a different story. You know. and, but in the contemporary art, of course, the craft is important, but it's also important the context and, uh, and uh, uh, when the teachers are just teaching what they know and they don't understand why they are teaching, what is needed and if they are not part of the uh, artwork and so on, uh, we, get, uh, we, uh, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, it's problem. Uh, the, open, uh, the learning process is all about opening possibilities, not about recapping the learning process in final products. It means process is important. Uh, changes are also needed in teaching theoretical subjects. Art history and traditional art theories are not longer enough to make and understand contemporary. 
to navigate a contemporary art world, artists need broader knowledge, which they can also gain from learning about various types of critical theory, philosophy, and other humanities. There is no all-encompassing formula for teaching theory, but there are good school practices which can be explored and used to help reflect on what kind of theoretical teaching is needed in our situation. When I say our situation, I'm referring uh, uh, more to ex Yugoslavia, East Europe, when, for instance, uh, we, uh, we can read, of course, uh, 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 theory uh, uh, about art in the late capitalism, but we are not in late capitalism. I mean, of course, it's good that we can come in contact with these theories, but basically, I think, uh, as I said at the beginning, the theory is not universal always. It should be applied also to the conditions of production and uh, social, economical, uh, uh, cultural differences and so forth. Uh, artists who are able to reflect on their activity and create uh, primary theory have a great advantage, in our opinion, in, at art. Of course, it's also in my opinion. Clearly, many students of contemporary art will not be able to make a living from their art practice. I mean, this is a fact, you know. I, I don't know how, uh, I remember from my class that maybe from 10 or maybe 12 people, one lives or two lives from, from doing painting or doing the uh, practicing art. Uh, this fact cannot be ignored. No. Uh, no detailed analysts are needed to figure out that in many countries, art market is small, underdeveloped, or as already, and used uh, many traditional media, with traditional media, which is virtually non existing uh, for contemporary art practice. So, if you do contemporary art, it's very difficult to sell your work, even maybe some collections abroad, but not locally. Uh, purchases organized by museums and other institutions and private collectors are too sparse to represent any real economy. To be able to make a living, students should therefore be taught additional skills during their studies. They need to learn how to produce their work, how to apply for grants, projects, and how to communicate with museums, critics, galleries. So we have subjects on this. We have seminars where we are teaching students uh, how to organize themselves, how to, how to uh, 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 apply, how to communicate, how to explain project, how to deliberate their ideas. Uh, uh, this knowledge will uh, come very handy in the absence of any sizable domestic market. Uh, I mean, students of our, they get, uh, uh, they also learn skills like uh, doing 3D modeling, uh, uh, working with 3D programs, graphic programs. They know how to, uh, to write. Some of them uh, learn how to write, to write short scenarios, so they are also employable in television and other places, you know, production, which is realistic, you know, because, you know, basically the key question for me today of contemporary art is a question of, uh, basically, economy. How much energy you need to do something else to do your art, you know, if, the, if you cannot leave it. And frankly speaking, I'm not uh, Irvin, I'm a group of five people, maybe three would leave too from, our, uh, from just doing art, but not five. So we also develop certain skills and doing some other things and, and so on. Which I don't think is bad for artists, no, because you can also uh, 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 extend your experience. I don't believe in the idea you sit in the studio and meditate. Maybe it's possible for some, I'm a little different. Uh, so our Academy of Visual Arts is a non-profit institution, and as such also has its owners. Uh, I'm one of those, I, it's a practice, so we are three owners, you know, uh, I, I have the smallest part, you know, but you know, uh, uh, you know, the socialism is very expensive, you know, so you need uh, some capital even, uh, to finance it, you know. In our case, uh, uh, we uh, fi finance uh, school the way that students here pay tuition, uh, which is fairly small for, uh, uh, for the conditions in, uh, in Slovenia, for, uh, but we, uh, like uh, a Chinese uh, switch restaurant to the hotel, you know, in 24 hours, in three days we switch uh, our school when we finish the last trimester to uh, hostel, to, to use hostel. And we uh, earn about 60,000 euro, euro every year, which we distribute back to school. So by that we are completely independent from the state. Of course with the state, money we could do something more, you know, but we didn't see yet that much, you know, so. We didn't even uh, ask too much, but now I think we will. Um, yes, I believe that everyone should have access to schooling, regardless of their economic situation and stand for the system of school that operates in the interests of students and society as a whole. In my view, the a priori 
quality division of Slovenian education system into the public and private schools may be counterproductive as well as misleading. Profit is not necessarily the motive for establishing a private non-state school. Uh, if, if, if it is, it's a problem, you know, in my opinion. What, what is, if patterns in some particular area of public education are difficult to change and adapt to the needs of contemporary art teaching, what if things can sometimes be changed only through the personal initiative? Isn't the holding of teaching position from one early post-study years to retirement also pre privatization of public space and public money? And I'm talking about the state school when also the sons uh, and the daughters of the teachers and professors come there. It's, in private, it's a privatization of public school. It's, uh, I think it's very wrong. Uh, there is also a question of how lecturers will develop and, they, uh, and what they will still be able to offer to students after 30 years of teaching at the same school, if they have no pedagogical experience gained in other schools, also on the wider international scale. I'm aware that opportunities for lecturing and other schools are not abundant, but this should not be the ultimate argument for not trying to do such a practice. It's possible, it's possible, it's uh, very possible. Uh, I hope the differences in teaching methods and the possibility of studying at different types of school will bring about a quality change in the teaching of contemporary Slovenia and wider in ex Yugoslavia and Eastern Europe. It is evident that art academies of uh, ex Yugoslav states and wider Eastern Europe have very traditional understanding of contemporary art. Uh, 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 there is still, I mean, there are a lot of changes, but some of them are still teaching this uh, uh, separation between just painting, sculpture, graphic art, some including new media and so on. But you know, uh, the use of the new technologies of contemporary art is without a doubt very important. Uh, uh, but contemporary, artists, uh, contemporary art practices should be viewed today as a much wider phenomenon. I think that uh, more uh, than technique or media is important the language. So we are living, I believe we are living in a post-media time, maybe this will be changed. And, uh, but at the moment I think we have to open the space and think about the possibility of media which doesn't exist. And, and uh, that's, uh, you know, we try to uh, take in consideration. I'm also proposing that the category of contemporary visual art practice and theories should be also introduced in the visual art education widely. Why? This term is uh, broad enough, in my opinion, to cover a wide variety of artistic practices and phenomena, particularly since contemporary art production is often based on unexpected derivations that the system of tradition criteria cannot foresee. This is also a peculiarity of contemporary art practices and, and a difference from the recent past. Technology is becoming increasingly democratized and digitalized. New generations of students are already, uh, in quotation marks, digital natives, uh, 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 and, uh, and they probably um, uh, know much more uh, as professors, of course. And from this, uh, certain things we have to learn from them. But this is a very different exchange. It's not anymore master apprentice and so on. So, Maybe we are long on the world and we have some orientation and maybe tell about some kind of context where they can start to search and so on. So we, we maybe have our some value, but at the same time, it's a different world here. So uh, uh, for, for, for this, uh, I would say digital natives, master in digital technologies, video, digital capture of information, various computer programs and applications is already routine and almost in intuitive. In fact, they know much more about this than I said, I said this already. So. Uh, the lengthy learning of art techniques and, uh, uh, and craft skills is to a to large extent today a thing of the past. Uh, uh, of course, schools should make this possibility for students. If somebody wants to pay, why not? To sculpture, you know, and so on. Uh, there was also, uh, there were also uh, a kind of, uh, I remember from Sweden situation, then in one school, uh, they went to kind of uh, opposite academism. They forbid students to paint, you know. So you, you is this a, a support for the...
so I said uh, uh, that uh, today I guess that academic music can have a, uh, uh, unexpected faces. Like I said, the, the, the Sweden say, uh, the Arco say, uh, went so far as spending the painting. So, conceptual aspect or the language. Uh, Peter Weibel writes about the democratization of media, when no media is more important than any other. Uh, the forum cannot be escaped, in, uh, in my opinion, in art in any case. This is, you know, uh, I mean, the history of art is still the history of forum for now. Uh, the term contemporary and visual art practices, it's, it, it's, it's not, does not suggest an attempt to designate the, uh, 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 different art practices in, in this decade, but to provide a space for experimentation and individual development of each student. Uh, so, here maybe I can say uh, that the term contemporary art practices and theories provide more room for reflection and also, uh, on also how to teach complex fields of visual arts now. Then maybe uh, I go here in between about that how we build uh, our school, how we build the methods. Uh, uh, our Dean uh, Sekulic started in London. He was, uh, he was, uh, for him, he was, he knew uh, quite a lot about the British system. So we, uh, we, st we studied the uh, study system of, uh, uh, of Malievich. Uh, we knew about uh, Bauhaus, about Beth Black Mountain College. And my experience being here and being part of Noe Stovinici Kunst was a collective experience. So we also uh, introduced collective teaching. Collective teaching, we introduced uh, uh, the methods of, of the base of uh, being on one to one with students. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, I think it was, uh, uh, we radically uh, uh, experimented with models and trying to find which model is the best for students to be in the center. Then after some time, I find out that I cannot treat students anymore with uh, students. Because when you are 20, our students were 23, 24, maybe they were doing the best work in their life. I hope they do some other work better and so on. But uh, I could not see them anymore as kind of unfinished artists, or, or some unfinished professionals, you know. And that's, uh, we discussed this a lot, and I think that uh, uh, this was extremely important when we started to think this way. So, uh, okay, maybe uh, uh, also a little bit about the school in this respect that uh, in other school, uh, most of the students are coming from Slovenia. We, we have about uh, maybe 40, 40 and 50 students in uh, BA, uh, BA and MA and so on. But many of them are coming also from uh, mostly all European countries and also from the States and Russia. So. Uh, we do use languages like uh, uh, Slovenian, English, and, and Serbo-Croatian, or Croatian, Serbian, whatever, you know, sometimes even Russian. So uh, we, do, uh, do have, we do have also a uh, very strong uh, program of visiting artists. Uh, so visiting artists and theorists uh, and art professionals are coming from a local split, from uh, Europe, America, and so on, and they are doing lectures. Usually it's one lecture, sometimes it's more. And they meet with students and they comment their works. So the students ha have this possibility uh, to get a, a reaction and reflection from people who are not uh, the teaching team. And uh, uh, for now, you know, uh, we understand uh, this school as a kind of small model. Because uh, I, believe, uh, I believe in that, that if you uh, cannot change things, I mean, why? Uh, and nobody would invite me to academy to teach. You know, if you know, people were invited, somehow this kind of frame, this kind of uh, structure was set 
that even people who started with something else, they were part of this kind of scheme. You know, so. uh, but here it was possible uh, to work, to experiment, and uh, I would say to control it in a way. You know. Of course, you have to control uh, your idea. You have to, uh, and of course, uh, the lucky thing was that we, uh, the people met with very similar or close ideas, so that uh, we we could work for for, uh, for a long time. I don't know what what will happen with it in the future. If we will survive or not, you know. I believe if we could, uh, we went uh, with our school on the open sea without the fuel, you know, and then we we tried to plant it on the way and we find it, you know. So somehow it was like this, you know. So and uh, for the first five years. Uh, we wanted to get accreditation and they couldn't, we couldn't get it because they said, but you are not a school we want. You are not, you know. We had a lot of, let's say, I would not say any of this, it's not a nice word, but people who didn't like that we would, uh, we would uh, run with it, you know. But then we get accredited, we are also accredited in the UK, so we are part of Slovenia and the British system. We are collaborating with British uh, uh, schools, art schools now. We will exchange professors and students with uh, with uh, uh, this uh, goldsmith, so they propose us this, you know, so we are going, you know, so step by step, every year we are a little stronger, you know, uh, uh, not richer, you know, and, but it's going. Uh, so when I, when I talk about uh, this, uh, uh, I already mentioned this uh, new economies, uh, how we organize economy with, uh, with, uh, with uh, use hostel, without this, we would never survive five years. Uh, we would never survive five years, uh, but we, by this, you know, uh, we, we, were, uh, we were able to do it. You know, now it's uh, the COVID situation for one year and a half. We have, we have to hibernate a little bit, but it will be better and so on. So, uh, I think it's uh, connected to school. Uh, 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 I think it's very important question is production of theory, pub publishing and distribution in Eastern Europe. You know, so, the theory which is uh, uh, important for us. Uh, so we are lacking uh, this permanently produce and publish theory in Eastern Europe, also distribution, uh, and this should be a pillar of education. So now we have some ideas how to work with it. This is going to be the future. We already start some ideas. We are we have some finances, finances, and we will also enter to this field. You know, and uh, for sure we will use this possibility because we are uh, also in good relationship with Ljubljana psychoanalytical school you now, and we will do some. We hope we can collaborate on this and, uh, uh, I mean, connect it to visual art because they, uh, they don't repair so much. And visual art is more of film, but some, yeah. So, uh, well, we are going. So, it's also, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, I have to be also uh, critical, you know, too. You know, we also did, uh, we had some problems, uh, we could do things better, you know, uh, like uh, we uh, uh, underestimated maybe. Uh, uh, people who could locally help us, and now we are trying to to work with them, you know, uh, and so on. We uh, we didn't do a, a good PR because uh, we don't know how to do it, you know. But it's important because you have to get students, you know. You you have to leave the student has to have certain numbers of so on. So I, here in Kosovo, I was also acquainted to, to one uh, university where I, I I wrote a program, you know, and so on, and uh, I really worked very hard, you know. But then, you know, uh, there were good people, but uh, I think uh, not enough teachers, you know, who will be experienced with it, you know, and also from outside. So uh, uh, I thought uh, that, uh, uh, that the owners or the, the rector didn't understand, or it was more the idea of this art school was maybe for him a little bit more propaganda, in my opinion, you know. So I think they should, uh, uh, I teach there for some years, you know, but I decided not to anymore because uh, I think they should treat better foreign professors and so on, you know, and they have to learn. They have a good, uh, a lot of good team and they have to go a good way, because they have to learn, they have also to hear my critique, you know, the critique is important thing, you know. Uh, you cannot build a good teaching team without some experienced professors, uh, with a wide knowledge and youngers with potentially to become good ones. First you need to educate the, the teachers, should educate the teachers, you know. Of course the teaching is not just intuitive process, what you do, but for instance, I learned myself, uh, from teachers, uh, from older teachers, from teachers who come from UK, from the States, when I was teaching abroad uh, at universities, I, I, I was teaching in Spain, a postgraduate. It's a process, you can't do it just like this, you know. So, 
So I, I hope this uh, uh, the new art school uh, all the best, but I think they have to change a lot of things, you know, to to to, to get better. You know? no, I mean that's you know. But I uh, I also would like to reflect, you know, a, a good model here, which is summer school, the school Krishna, which is uh, basically a small model. Of course, it's summer only, uh, and this I will read, you know, because I think uh, uh, the the team here deserve that, you know, to. That we also they say, say something about this. Maybe you will not agree, maybe we can call it polemical about it, but I will tell what I think. You know, so. uh, 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 faced with institutional void, artist Albert Heta, an architect, Vala Osmani tackled the difficult task of forming a new institution which required a great deal of self organizing and hard work. Not the least important was the choice of the name for an institution that in no way resembles an artisan space and that can open or close without any serious consequences, depending on energy, motivation, and funds. So I would like to say, this is not artisan space. Artisan space is like this. You get tired, you want to go to India, you, you don't get enough money, so it's just kind of artisan space. I can close this any moment. This is not. If you take a, such a name, such a concept, it's not possible. So I have a great respect. Station has been staging exhibitions and of both uh, uh, local and uh, prominent in international artists. Uh, Station is a functional institution making an important contribution to meeting demands of the local contemporary art scene. Despite its small size and providing one of its feelings with international art practice, while obviously not sufficient for Kosovo, it is an important initiative that has sustained itself for more than 10 years, uh, uh, a feat worthy of admiration. On another hand, Station can also be seen as an art project whose physical manifestation is a function is a functional art institution. Uh, so I think uh, that uh, uh, the most important for me project, Dant and his contemporary music, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, summer school, the school. From 19 to, uh, uh, 2015, uh, uh, I think 15 station has been organizing and producing uh, its annual art, uh, art uh, school. Uh, uh, in, it's become important in the wider Europe. Uh, it has been inspiring to watch the summer school develop into the consequential player in the world. It has hosted its artists and theorists uh, from neighboring countries, the rest of Europe, USA, and I think it's, uh, this is a very solid ground to become a school. I think that people from other schools in Kosovo should come here and, and learn from, from this initiative. You know. This is something, you know, what goes to the future. Not that you simulate sometimes situation, you know, you know, I think it's, uh, 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 we have to, we say we have to pure, you know, uh, how to say, even I'm not an alcoholic, uh, uh, to pure in a glass, pure wine, you know, that's a metaphor in Slovenia. It means we tell the truth with an idea, uh, uh, criticize, the things would be better, you know. And this is sometimes painful, but it, there is no other way. I mean, that's why I have to criticize. I'm just the one, you know, so maybe I'm completely wrong, and uh, please then stop me and tell me that I'm wrong, and... Uh, uh, now I will finish with ideas for collaboration. Like, uh, what to be done? Što djelo? The training will say. I'm always for that. I'm always saying that when you are in a, in a place where you don't have to don't complain, you start it to build, you construct, you know. Instead of comment, you construct, you don't lament, you know. Uh, in the States, the right from the Yugoslavia and the Eastern Europe, we need new education and institutions and improvements of existing ones. We need strong, vertical, robust continuation of institutional schools. When I say institution, I don't have in mind state school only. Uh, we all know that in the most cases, art academies were bastions of conservatism, and it's not always the best thing to do. So, uh, problem of uh, temporary educational project is that they are very welcome uh, and important, but temporary initiatives will be depends on energy of initiators, which is great to have it, but Verticality is also very important. Um, they rise and die very quickly. In my, I know from the ground of this, you know, and so we need new good institutions. Maybe it's possible uh, to transform a temporary education project to permanent schools, as I mentioned before. The advantage of the small schools is that they can be more flexible and avoid uh, a lot uh, of bureaucracy with teachers and student exchange. Uh, we, uh, in other territories, it seems that this can be done quickly for a very reasonable amount of funds. Maybe some 
uh, specially designed online platforms can be used for such communication coordination. In Zagreb, they develop a concept of clubbing when uh, some theaters could exchange uh, information and, and, and tour, and dance tour, you know, basically uh, all night and for reasonable funds. Uh, the, uh, one of the most important models at ABBA is visiting the artists, uh, uh, lectures, which I mentioned already. And this, uh, uh, we uh, managed uh, to find uh, money from art lovers, so they pay for everything. You know, they, so we can invite our people, we pay them, not very much. We have apartments to, to put them in apartments and so on. And, and even the, the, the state school doesn't have that. You know, so we have this, but we are small and no money. They get money from government, so it's possible. A uh, permanent debate is needed what kind of education is needed for contemporary art. I'm proposing a commonly organized symposium on this topic with a result at the end, a reader uh, which can, uh, in which we can share our experience, knowledges, propositions, and together build the future. Thank you very much. I know it was a little dull because we want to talk about school, but, <laughs> but it's important for, for uh, for me, it's important because I think, uh, as an artist, you know, uh, it is good, you know, uh, to uh, uh, it's important to leave something, to uh, uh, to unpack your backpack, you know. And it, I must say, I like to do it and enjoy it, and it's very rewardable. I get a lot of energy back from this. So, thank you very much, Mira. Uh, we already have a question, uh, so that <coughs> I don't think you do it. It's not so much a question, it's no comment, no fellow comment. Uh, that says, first of all, I want to make the presentation and tell you that it wasn't so unsexy. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as a uh, long-term professor in different fine arts schools in the region, I find uh, really that I resonate with you a lot. And I see that uh, it's ongoing problem in different contexts. It's not only Ljubljana, it's not only Kosovo, it's Skopje, it's Belgrade, it's uh, all over the place. So uh, your propositions are really important. One of the maybe little comments that I have is that you need to add to the new institutions different. New and different. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because new doesn't necessarily mean different. Yes. Uh, from my experience, whenever there are new schools, there is a big danger that they perpetuate the same mm. model. So it, regardless whether it's old or new, you know, they go on with the same thing. Uh, it's similar with museums, you know. There are many, many new museums that uh, repeat the same mistakes of elitists or whatever hierarchies that don't uh, uh, institutions suffer. So I agree completely with the whole presentation only my addition is a little different uh, uh, on the top of the yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe I would not say differently, I would say good ones. Can we say a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I mean, of course. Yes, it course. just uh, the terminology. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that I really want to agree with is the model of uh, this particular summer school. So uh, it, it was really great that uh, you see this out. We can discuss what can be better or what can be developed, but this is uh, really important. And the third thing is the teaching methods. That I'm here to teach teaching methods, so a research method. Method, which is really important as in addition to uh, you were discussing some of them, but student centered learning and all these uh, different approach towards uh, teaching in art school. As art historian, I really encountered this big problem how to teach theory, art history in art schools. This is a still undeveloped thing, you know, art historians teach the same way art history to art history departments, to uh, human schools, and in fine art academy. What you're proposing is really important to develop. You know, it's still not developed. To somehow develop new methods for teaching 
Yeah, I want to just say something, you know, to become an artist, you don't need to go to art school. I mean, frankly, but if you decide to go, but art schools are important uh, as a kind of uh, uh, containers of experience and memories. Like the book is not important for one man, it's important for humankind, you know. Many people don't read books and they're totally fine and uh, have no problem with them, you know, and so on. So I think it's uh, uh, many artists, uh, as a Russia, they finish Polytechnic chemistry in, in the cases of uh, some uh, uh, artists there and so on, and uh, I think uh, nobody, uh, uh, writer didn't go to school in the 19th century, you know, and so forth. So this idea of going to school, you know, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it could work, you know, but it's not always working, you know. But I think it's important to, to try to build good schools as well, you know, right? That's, you know, that's for I'm free, you know, so. Thank you, Mirka. <clears throat> Mirka, I was just like, when, when you say you want to become an artist, you don't have to go to school. I was just ima imagining Martin Stelinovich sitting here and saying, yes, yes, it's all about this. But this reminds me of, of, of uh, another problem, which <clears throat> I think, uh, can, you, can you think of some sort of stronger ideological concept of such a schools and uh, uh, education which would put in question, which would be, of course it is sort of institutional critique in, 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 in this try to create another institution. And I was thinking that it, it might have a very, some sort of, or uh, sort of a deeper ideological, uh, you know, meaning and, and, and tradition. Uh, I was thinking uh, of possibility to, uh, to think of, uh, of this difference, of what is the difference in terms of, you know, what Bernard Stigler would call amateurism, amateur. Not as a counterpart to the professional, yeah. but at, at something, you know, someone who does not go to the art school to become artist, someone who loves, it comes from uh, uh, a man, you know, from, from love, amar, from loving something. Yes. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, generally, you know, go deeply into the pedagogical problem of, of you know, disciplinarity, as Rancière would say, yes. you know, ignorant master. Is this uh, some sort of, you know, stronger ideological critique of the existing schooling is institutions? Illich would say, this schooling, yeah. you know, a sort of this schooling school. You know, the, uh, yeah. These are just like... No, no, but it's interesting idea, no. Basically, we can be also critical to some models which everybody just admired. I, I think also the Malevich school was not always in all well, things the best because he has an ego trip of uh, just showing his work, you know, trying to uh, persuade it that suprematism is the ultimate, you know. It was kind of authoritarian school, you know. Okay, very ideological too, you know. So this, the problem is that we have, we have many voices. Of course, it's always you're on the edge of this uh, uh, of what, but you know, uh, I, uh, maybe we are in the face of this transition that when I was uh, in school, I think it was very ideological. <laughs> How to say, it was ideological in a sense, uh, you must obey the teacher, you know, you must obey, you know. This, we don't have that, so we are kind of opening, we are experimenting with this space. And when I talk about the theory in plural, you know, I don't think that all the students in, in Abba should just be with critical theory when they work, you know. Some people just don't need that, you know, they need other theories, some need biology, some need, you know, some, uh, I mean, uh, some, they need uh, uh, rocket science to read books on that, you know, or, you know, so I think we are in this way, you know, where we try to find a place where the students uh, uh, do not feel uh, how to evident, you know, and we really have, if the students are good, here we, you know, we send their PDF to the shows, you know, so the school, it's a gate to the world, to the professional world. And our students, as I said, they are not only artists. They some maybe will buy art, some will love art, some will just, you know, go to the museum with another conscience, some will just have diploma, I don't know. Some will work in uh, uh, editing uh, films in, uh, in television, you know, and so forth. So, but I think, you know, that the school must be connected to students and the external world. I don't like this acad academia in the mountains. 
<laughs> I like Black Mountain College, but not in the mountains in a sense that you are totally, uh, you are on the campus with no communication with this. It's an idiotic idea, it's a totally wrong idea, I think, you know. You must be connected with art life and you must be, uh, you know, you must meet in your study interesting people, theories, artists and so on, you know. So, uh, uh, your, your, your question, how to build ideological stand, is still, you know, something what we discuss, you know. I would say, uh, 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 by doing a, a school which is a charity, I mean our school by the British system is a charity, it's not commercial school, so because by the, our uh, 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 papers we have to be, give money back, and, and this is, you know, but we are considered as a private school, so whenever we have a show, the media would say you pay for ads, you pay for this, you know, but this is, you know, interesting, you know, because I think he, uh, you, I believe you can only change things through the models. You make small model, maybe grow, maybe it's repeated, you know, maybe you fail another uh, learn on this, and this is how we go on, you know, and that's, you know, uh, and, and I'm already an old man, so uh, uh, in a few years others will do it, you know, so that's Thank it. you very much. Uh, I have some observation. I think you should come to France to have a look. Very much of the solutions you're talking about are some of the pedagogic structures we, we use. And I think it's a very interesting thing because I see a, a very important difference uh, that I think should thought maybe you should go further in this problem of what is private or not. Mm -hmm. uh, in France we are public schools and the only good schools are public and the private are not good. Mm -hmm. This is a very strange situation in Europe but uh, this is a very different situation uh, historically. Mm -hmm. And I think the question of the history is very important. Yeah. Uh, how in Slovenia the history is different and your history also has experience is very different. I think that maybe we should arrange something that could be really interesting to, to, to organize uh, you to come. But there is a second thing, I, I, uh, one, uh, two, two things. I don't agree every, every time that uh, no one should go to school. This depends on the situation where you are. Yeah, of course. Because I, what I understand now, after a long time teaching and uh, processing new pedagogies also, uh, is that uh, to unlearn teaching or to unlearn learning mm -hmm. is a question of generation. Mm -hmm. You belong to a generation that was self-organized against a very strong system and you were a group, in a group of very different persons in which you, you produced a dialogue in, your, in a context that produces a generation. I think a good school is not a school that produces good courses or good uh, thinking or good uh, work or whatever. It's a school that produces a generation. To do what? To produce a generation of artists. Mm -hmm. Not all will become well-known artists, mm -hmm. but if they don't reach to become a generation in, the, in a group, they cannot work further in the future. Of course, of course. And I think the, the, the main thing is to understand how you can produce in Slovenia a generation. And this cannot be done only in the situation of, of Slovenia. I think this is very interesting because it's a very different history from mm -hmm. other European countries. One of the questions in theory, we have a very open theory with, uh, with teachers that are teaching very different approaches of theory. Even uh, we have a, I don't know, we have even popular music teached as, uh, yeah. as theory. But what we changed in a moment where theory had become too intellectual in the school was to borrow teachers, artists that could also theorize. So the theory is not taught only by theorists now, of course, but even by artists. And this may be a, a very interesting discussion because also in historically in Slovenia there no, is also an approach of this. We are, I mean, we have uh, many uh, two or three artists who also study theory and they are mm -hmm. teaching. Uh, you know, I know. I just wanted to be clear just about that that I, I personally, I'm a believer of schools. I like schools, you know, but I also wanted to say. It's not the only way. No, no but it's not the only way. But to be in a generation, I'm... this is the problem. Sorry? You need to be in a generation to become an artist. Yeah, if you are, if you are but alone, you cannot be a generation. Yes. You can only do this in school. And yeah. often the schools are the place yes, where yes, you yes. build up a generation and then yeah. later they do what they do. 
in Uganda was the strongest group, that, uh, beside the NSK, the group which started in, uh, in uh, uh, Academia Vela Art in Venezia. Mm -hmm. So they became a very strong generation, also supporting each other and so on, you know, very resistant, mm -hmm. resilient. Mm -hmm. Uh, Irving Collective, 
principles on which they are organized are sometimes uh, strange to understand. They still keep functioning because they share common interests. They have no, no, because we are local groups, yeah, <laughs> groups, uh, groups which stand for each other. Uh, you can call that solidarity. Values which connect them could be or sometimes are not the same standing points. And that's where I think what Boris was trying to say, the ideology, the political within the school is super important because what connects you? What makes this with Bernard's called the generation? Is it something that you're thinking together? Or is it the interest to, to make it in the scene or in, in a scene which is actually the market, global capitalist market, which is over flooding us more and more uh, together? So the individual for me is also very important. As, as uh, the technical assistant would, would say, you know, what is modernism? Is it the collective, the group, the nation, the generation, or is it the individual? And then the values which connect all of us, being in this space or not. And just to share the story, because uh, Miran was, uh, since the beginning, when uh, the idea was formulated about the summer school, and the idea was, okay, we were exhibiting young artists, and seven of them, which somehow made it, uh, or we thought that they made it somehow in the, in the art scene. None of them has, had finished the art school here. So then we thought, okay, what is the art school doing? You know, so <laughs> they are not producing success, you know? In, in, uh, and then we said, okay, we need a school. And we were doing interventions uh, in education programs uh, uh, throughout our program since 2006. But I said, okay, to build a school, it's a larger, uh, Yes. Uh, let's say mountain to climb, and then we were discussing together with you know and some other people. Like, okay, let, let's try to do a summer school, and we would test the potential and, and test everything. Yes. Uh, but for us, we have a clear. We know what we want, you know. So we don't have any disruptions. We know uh, what we want in the end. Not everyone, which was part of the idea, was clear enough uh, how to see the future. You know, uh, the future ahead. Uh, and I was puzzled, and but also uh, uh, thrilled. For instance, we were in a meeting in Zagreb, and then I met two artists, one from Montenegro, one from Croatia, who had met in Pristina for the summer school. Right, and it, it has created, I mean, nowadays we even try to call them alumni, I don't know what, but it has created a larger group of artists which sometimes try to stay connected. And it has created possibilities for few of them, uh, and more, it, I, hopefully it will create more. I'm not sure if this is the model, but what happened is, uh, as even what Miran was saying, we also saw after the initiation of the, of the program, which was very grassroots idea, nothing like, we, even when we started getting invitations to be part of fairs, of summer schools, and we said, no, you know, we don't do this as a, you know, there are other reasons. But then we saw how there was some sort of educational turn in the region. And you can still see it, smaller projects happening around. Uh, for instance, we saw one also happening in Zagreb. And then I witnessed a presentation, and for me that was not a school, that was a residence program. But they still call it an academy, right? So there's also donors which, are hovering around and thinking they have to invest in education. Uh, but lately, intellectual work, it's, it's not part of the interest. It's more craft. Again, we are going back to, with Milan, when we were writing about why mm -hmm. the school is not reformed, yeah. it's because it's, in, it's based on the French, old French model of uh, uh, building people who are good in craft, you know, in painting, printmaking, technique, actually. It's I mean, nowadays the French model has its balance, has its balance, but we are stuck to the French model which we got initially in, in former Yugoslavia, and that's why we thought that this has to be challenged. And nowadays, it's not that it's not challenged in the academies, but it's challenged in a very problematical way because we lost the French craft as a model, Right, so it's not even that anymore, uh, and they are trying to go somewhere else, which is totally vague and not, and not clear. Uh, just, just to, to, to
to give some, some perspective but maybe on the current uh, situation. I could precise a point because it is a very important point. Because yeah. when I speak about generation, I don't speak, I, I can I, I can myself from a very strong or intergenerational inside the world. We had the article around that was teaching us, and when we were invited to Castle, they organized the time to kick us out, and then we had the Tansalangwa that was blocking all the markets. So I know very well what to say about this question to, to, uh, to get success or to get uh, together or to be solidarity. This is uh, not the point for me. The point is learning. I don't think you can learn from teachers. Teachers bring some material, and this material is unemployable in art. So that you need to, de to go through this material or to go not to look at it or to go over it or to destroy it. And to do that you need dialectics. And the dialectics is produced by a generation of people in the same situation looking at the same problem they have with the teacher or with the material you're teaching. And they discuss, reorganize, destroy, find new ways, and this is done by a generation. When you have singular students that can be smart as you want, they don't reach to reorganize what the teacher brings. And this is what I mean by generation. That's not only solidarity then yeah. in the art world or whatever, it is really relevant learning. And uh, this seems to me a very important point, because our teaching in France now, there is only one school, that's the model you say, it's on for, for, for 45. So the, all the others are well organized on the singularity of, of the work of the art, of the young artist. Of the no, young, uh, many things change. Uh, uh, really, very well much. Yeah, it's not I, 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 I think because what you what you say is a desirable position to have. Mm -hmm. right? This is yeah the aim. But the reality is, is yes, I understand. Is, I understand. The reality is, is stark, and it, it is in, in many ways more complex in many territories. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, if I can propose, we can continue this yes. conversation. Uh, thank you so much, Miran, and for, for, for being patient with me.